everyone, this is Joanne. How are you today? I am coming to you today with a layout for the Bramble Fox Challenge Design Team. And this month's challenge is to mix different collections together. And you have to use at least one Bramble Fox product on your layout. And you enter this challenge in the Bramble Fox Friends Facebook group. I'll leave that linked below along with the Bramble Fox website. And you can check out all the brand new exciting perspectives that just came into the shop. And you can check out the challenges, okay? And also there is a Fox Box subscription, which is a monthly subscription. And you get perspectives. Only subscribers get those perspectives. They're not available in the shop. So I'll leave that below too. So the two collections I am using are the Card of Bella, one of my favorites, Summer Market, and oh my gosh, look at how cute those papers are. Very summery, love the colors, love, love. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of springtime from Simple Stories. This was from 2019 and the other one was from 2020. And I am very much a collection scrapbooker, so bringing in two different collections onto one layout is definitely going to be a challenge for myself, but we welcome challenges, right? Wait till you see this picture. I can't. Look at... <laughs> she's in a strawberry field, and she's just eating them all up. This is when she was really young. She's going to be five now. So, in the Cartabella collection was a super awesome paper with strawberries on it. I can't even get any better than that. And I made a strip and then put some red and white gingham paper strip underneath that and blackened it with some black ink. And, and this is one of my favorite punches and I use it all the time. So, let's go ahead and get that down and I'll show you what, I'm going, what I am going to do. This is going to be an awesome base page layout for your papers and to use up your stash and it's very quick easy simple so we're going to do one on the bottom like that i'm going to move that over so i can get the other one here and you can make these be any size that you want to i would say this is probably two and a half by 12 and this is probably three and a half by 12 and then just put strips of papers and border punches in the sizes that you want okay very very easy just put a little strip of ATG down there and go ahead and put this on my border strip I love this border punch so much I use it all the time Okay, so with this, this paper has a distinct pattern of how the, th the embellishments on the pattern flow. So these strawberries are flowing down, so I'm definitely going to want this one on top. And there you go. I'm definitely going to want this one on the bottom because see the strawberries are pointing down. So how cute is that? Now look at that. There's a base page for you. Just a couple strips of paper, a border punch twice, and bam. You will not believe what I'm going to do today to embellish this, which is going to be very little, and you know that I put stuff everywhere. And I'm not going to do that today because it doesn't need it. And I'm going to show you the Bramble Fox perspectives that I'm going to use. And um, let me show you a couple of these first. I made some flowers. This is a spell binders die and I just put a button in the middle and just put a little bit of twine in the middle. Some I put over and some I put on the top and just tied it and left it. Super cute, right? It's all the papers from this. I'm going to use a few of those and then I'm going to put my picture here and this is, oops, from the cut apart sheet it's a four by three cut apart and I made an upside down tag and I wanted to use the strawberries and the word strawberries gingham twine um, like mint green this is gingham ribbon mint green twine Wow got that out okay so just sometimes you can make a tag the opposite direction and still use it it looks really cute. I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to come in like this. Now look. 
super pretty. Very few embellishments are going to be needed. I'm really, really thinking about bringing in a Bramble Fox stencil and doing a little bit of ink blending. I'm really, really wanting to bring in a Bramble Fox stencil, and I want to use this one. I use this a lot. It's just a staple in my craft room because I love it. It's just, you can use it in so many different ways. And I'm thinking about putting just a hint of mixed media popping out. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'm not even gonna change blending brushes. I'm just gonna use some Alta New ink and we will just hold this down and just blend in some ink here. did this oh my goodness I love that okay and I'm gonna use this love this perspective from June it has a little arrow on the end it's super pretty I'm gonna put it down with just a little bit of glossy accents like this and when you get your perspectives in the mail if you haven't used Bramble Fox before there is a protective coating on them that you peel off very easily before you adhere it down. It just keeps them nice and safe without scratches until you use them. I'm going to place this right over the top of my tag. Okay. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to use this is I can't even, are you kidding me? Perspective ladybugs. Aren't those cute? I love them. So I'm going to put one right on the tag. Let me see how do I want it. I'll put it this way. Okay, guys, let's finish this layout. It's going to be so super cute. So in the sticker book, I found this. Pick your own berries. Oh my gosh, is that not perfect? And in case you've never seen, Cardabella has a completely different sticker book than anybody else, and if you ask me. And it's huge, and it's all cardstock stickers. There's so many in there. It's wonderful. In case you haven't used Cardabella before. So I think I'm going to put this right here on the corner, like so. And then I have a couple leaves that I cut out with metal dies from the Hip Kit Club. And maybe put in this strawberry like so, so we can see it. And then just tuck in this, which is also cut from metal die from the Hip Kit. And just do that. I don't want it running off the page though. I don't want to cut it. So maybe like that. And then we can sneak in the second ladybug. And I have this thing when I use like little bugs or butterflies or anything. I have to have them facing in different directions. I don't know why. I was thinking about some pink fresh gems. I have some colors picked out over here. So I like that. I think that's cute. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and use some glossy accents for this super cute ladybug. And just put her here. And hold it for a second. Usually it only takes a moment for the glue to the glossy accents to adhere. Since I have that in a good place, I am going to hold everything down with my hand and hopefully it stays. And then I won't have to do the placement all over again. It should be just about where I want it. And that's crooked. Please stay there. I'll put some glue at the tips of this metal die cut. Sneak that back in there like so. And then for this one, I really don't want to pull it back out. So I'm going to put some glue and then I'm going to use my finger to grab anything that came out from the sides. 
that like oops stuck to my hand oh my goodness got it all right and I think nope flat is good I don't think we need a foam square there so I'm gonna do flat here okay and now I am going to put these cute strawberries down that I fussy cut I put those on some foam squares to give a little dimension and I found this really cute tiny sticker that says summertime I'm gonna put glue on it just so it stays and I'll put it right over top of these strawberries and hopefully that looks good a little glue so you know what I'll do I'll hold it and then swipe the glue off good that came out nice all right all right I think this is cute I am gonna put pink fresh gems down hey guys I'm almost done I did put um, a little bit of pink fresh gems down not very many I put some here and here I put one there, I put one there, and I put a bunch of little pink ones on the tag just in flowers of the strawberries, which I thought were cute. I didn't want too much stuff messing with the pretty pattern paper. I almost forgot to bring in something from a different collection. So I do have the Happy Spring sticker sheet, 6x12 sheet. It came in a collection kit. There's this really pretty red butterfly. That matches with that good. I wonder where I can put this. Let's use our tweezers and see. I'm wondering if it would look good right on the photo right there. I don't see why not. But if I do that, I can also put it here. But I don't want to compete with my ladybug, but it does look good there too. I don't know what to do, you guys. Let's try something different and um put it on the photo I can't talk so let me put some foam squares down here I'm just gonna put it right on the wings hopefully place them so you can't see them a lot just when you look at the layout normal you will probably be able to see it when you look at it from the side but that's okay I'll put a little glue in the middle just in case and I can see that one foam square just a teeny bit, so I'm going to just come in with my scissors and I'm going to trim the side of the foam square off like that. Put my scissors down. And then I will go ahead and just put this right on here as a little something different. I think that's good got some nice dimension on the foam squares press down in the middle and then I do flatten my foam squares just a little bit just so they're not so dimensional it's kind of crazy sometimes they're so dimensional I'm wondering if that looks good like that or if we should put some gems in the middle of it hmm I'm gonna leave it Okay guys, I am all done. I got my splatters on. I did find this one adhesive bread that had strawberries on it and I said, oh, I'm just gonna stick that on there someplace. And I did, it looked good, I left it there. Awesome ladybug perspective, super cute. Here's that tag and the love this perspective. Now, if you're going to put splatters on your perspectives, you have to let them dry for quite a few hours, maybe even overnight to make sure they don't smear. If you get splatters on your perspective and you don't want them there, they wipe off super easy, so don't worry about that. And here's that ladybug again, I love it. Butterflies, strawberries, those little handmade flowers on our border strips. I like it because I got to use up a lot of the paper from this collection, which I love. I've had in my stash for a couple years now. And I finally got to use it. I'm very excited about it. Okay, Bramble Fox website and Facebook 
group listed below. Please check it out and come over and see. And I will put close-ups at the end. Thank you so much for stopping to see me. Have a good day, you guys.